Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. I will take it. It is not your place to find me a wife, mother. From all indication, you have it. You have, you have finding it hard to find a wife. Mother, I can do that for myself at my own time. What kind of a mother would I be if at 40, 40, you're still coming up with excuses of how you're unable to find a wife? This man that is almost 40 is a working man. And that is why I just don't sit down and look for a wife. I work, I travel, I do things, mom. That is why I have decided to get you on myself. Yes! That thing that you brought into my house, that can even string two correct sentences together, that thing? Daddy, I say you're having a fine time finding the civilized city ones. You have spent half your life here. Where is the woman? Where is the one you have found? Where? I just want to wait. Look, Mom, it doesn't have to come to this. He doesn't have to come to a point where we begin to raise voices. I am sorry if my delay hurts you, but I will find a wife. When? Soon, at my own time. Just what? let me do this my way, mom. What time? When? What time? At my own pace. Your pace. Your siblings are raising families. They have children. You are my first son. My first son. You want to do this today, mother? I just want a wife. That's all I ask. A wife. And children! Seriously, mother, are we going to do this today? You're my first son. You are my first son. And so you have to compare me to my siblings at all times? I just want a wife. I just want a wife. I just want a wife. I'm not doing this today. He said something. Mom, you're not going to compare me to any, any person. Not today. <laughs> Do you want to start raising kids when you're supposed to be a grandfather? Oh, ask him. Ask him, because me, I'm mm, tired. Oh man, hold your peace, let ah. him talk. Uncle, thank you very much for taking time out to come discuss this with my mother and I. But it is really, really sad that my mother um, chose to pull you away from your very busy schedule. I'm sure that you have other pressing matters that requires your attention. This is an important family issue, and that is why I'm here. We we'll have to discuss it now. Yes, if there's any problem, tell me I'm here for you. Uncle, everything is fine. Are you sure? Everything is fine. No problem at all. I'm fine. <laughs> I doubt. Uncle, I am fine. Trust me. I just, I just haven't found my kind of woman. You haven't done what? Found all these beautiful girls in town? Uncle, I understand my mother's agitation. I understand that I'm of age, but I just don't, I just haven't found the kind of woman that, that makes my heart skip. Mm -hmm. When that happens, I will settle down. Um, Uncle, in all honesty, I really do not think that this matter is as serious as my mom is making it out to be. All right? We'll be fine. Are you sure? Yes, I am okay. sure. And if you don't mind, Uncle, I beg, I beg to run. I have an important meeting too. Look, Mike, it's not long came in. It's an insult. Um, I was already out. 
when my mom called to tell me that um, you're here and I made a quick turn so as to come speak with you. I'm sorry if it looks like I'm being disrespectful, but this is an important business meeting, but I have to go. Please. By the way, I hope I'm not forgetting to um, give you something for, for transport. I mean, you could have this to what you have on you for petrol. Oh, my son, Michael, thank you very much. Yeah, you're most welcome. <laughs> Don't allow that discussion to bother you, okay? <laughs> it's, it's always difficult for women to understand. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'll make her understand. Okay, my son, have a great day at work. Please, my one the best. I'll be in touch. Bye. 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 Yeah, Joe, what just happened? The young man is taking his decision. Yeah, he has taken his decision. And I know he's going to act needed. Is it you speaking of the money in your pocket? It's me, of course. It's me. I have no problem. Go home. Don't worry. Your son will do the right thing at the right time. Uncle, go home. Go Are home. you driving? I'm man? sure you have earned your pay for the day. Thank you. And then I can go. Uh, go, jo, go now. Thank you very much. And there was no point calling you the first place. You are the problem now. Yeah, Michael, you are the problem. You are my problem. Right? Me? Yes. See, Michael, I am your mother. If there is anything that is bothering you, please tell me. Apart from Almighty God, besides Him, I am next. There is no one else. Right, I will find a woman in good time. That is what I want to tell you. Good night, Mom. Good night to sleep. Don't worry, when, when I die of hypertension, you will know. When hypertension came in because of you, you will know. I will go. I will go and sleep. It is still that my mates are sleeping. Well, Michael, how are you? I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm well. Um, I hope I did not drag you out of anything important. Oh, Father, this, um, this is also important if we have to look at it that way. Um, sitting here and talking with you is a blessing. So the moment you called, I decided to answer. <laughs> but I also hope that there is no um, problem. Uh, well, um, there is no problem. Just that, that your mother just left here. Oh. She did? Yes, she did. and um, she was really worried. She was in a very terrible situation. Ah, uh, what um, did she tell you is a problem? Nothing else other than your refusal to take a wife. Ah, <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> ah, <laughs> Father, forgive me. I can't believe she's taking it this far. Uh, it, it's really not a problem. It's just a minor family issue that will resolve. Not my, my mom. She's just the woman is just being dramatic. We're all fine, really. <laughs> Michael, I think her worries are justified. I mean, looking at you, you're doing so well in your career. And you're well placed to take a wife. So I was just wondering, what could be stopping you? Well, um, Father, with all due respect, I think that um, this issue, if we'd have to put it that way, is, is a function of choice, really. I haven't found her yet. You know, I, I haven't found my kind of woman. I... 
yeah, you know how it is. Times have changed. The ladies are getting, I don't know, by the day. It's it's riskier. It's a long ride. You have to be careful who you pick as a wife. You have to keep your eyes open. I'm, maybe I'm just worried. Maybe I'm just scared. That's what, but it's okay. But then, you can never allow the fear of making the wrong choices stop you from trying. Well, that's true. That's true. Maybe sometimes too, I get carried away with work. You know, as a young man, I'm trying to ensure that I secure the, the future of my family. When my family God. comes, I have to travel. I have to work. My I have God. to. My God. Yeah. All these are just excuses. And besides, if you're unable to get a good woman out there from among your circle, you can always fall back to the church. I mean, we have a whole lot of good, marriageable young women from good Christian families that I could always recommend to you. Okay, <laughs> I'll um, <laughs> I'll I'll think about it, Father. I'll, I'll I'll think about it. I think you really really need to think about it. All right, or else I will have no choice than to keep announcing on every Sunday bulletin <laughs> that you don't just want to get married. <laughs> no, ser seriously, seriously. You would do that, Father. <laughs> well, um, I I just hope you think about it. Like seriously, I will think about it. Alright, um, I really do not want to take too much of your time. I just felt I should just have a word with you. It's okay. It's okay. I am happy to be here. Like I said, it's a blessing speaking with you. But now that I'm here, I'm really not in a hurry. Well, um, <laughs> that's not it. an excuse. Hope you think about this issue. I will think about it, Father. Take my word. Problem. I promise. No problem. I, I know you were a very busy man and I'm sure you must want to go back. Why are you going? What is your business with where I'm going? Please. Hold on. What, what is this about? What I, was is just, this? I was just waiting for you to come back from Moko. I, I really am tired. What are, you, what are you talking about? I'm tired of playing both the wife and the, and, and the, and the mother. Please. Oh, okay. I, 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 I see what this is about. Mm. It's fine. You can stop playing both roles, but can you at least go back to your room? We'll I talk about am, that later. Mom. I am uncomfortable staying here. I'm not sleeping here tonight, too. Mm -mm -mm. Mom, just, don't, Mom, no. it's not even possible for you to leave here tonight. It's already late. There's no flight going back to the east. It's past 5 p.m. Mm. All right? And you can't possibly travel by road tonight. It, it, it won't happen. I won't even let you go by road. Even if I take a Kemarua, I will leave here. Fine. If you must leave, can we at least talk about this? And if we can't resolve it, you leave first thing in the morning. I'm leaving now. Even if I have to take a Kemarua, let me go. All right, fine. You'll have to go through then. Eh? You, you, you would have to go through me. Michael, leave. Let me go. You will kill me. 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 I'm not kidding. You, you will sleep here today. You're not going anywhere. You will kill me. Well, can, you, can you just stop being dramatic and just let's go?
Ah. Oh, Michael. Good evening, good evening How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Um, how is work? I'm fine. Hey, good, good thing you're here. Um, see, this is Emily. Emily, Michael, the one I've been telling. Yeah. Ah. Hello, Emily. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Great. Um, how is work? Fine, thank you. And I'm so, so sorry I couldn't make it for yeah, you. You are a very busy man, I know. But there will always be another time. Let's, let's go to my office so we'll have a word. Thank man, you. you're looking good, man. You're looking uh, great yourself. What can, we do? what can we do now? What can we do? Yeah, I, I saw your mom the other day. She came around. Oh, and yeah. Seriously. I didn't know Chris was still in the business of matchmaking. Well, this one is kind of different. Different? Yes. How? Oh. And because of the man involved. So, what about the man involved? Ah, uh, well, he, he seems cool and interesting. Yes, I, I feel like he's going to make a good partner. Yeah, he's like less talk, more action kind of guy. He's yeah. gentle, shy. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm oh, saying. Oh, girlfriend, take it easy. Uh, you sound like a love struck puppy. See, you need to keep your hands in check before you do this one. Do you think I'm sounding desperate? You are desperate. Well, it's not easy to be mature. We all may ask. So. What are you going to do? Ah, that thing. I'm going to sack all my, like, my whole closet. I want something. I don't want something I've worn before. I need something, something new, something special. You know? Yeah, so we need to go out and get something. So we'll go shopping. Yeah. Okay, fine. No problem. I'll get something, mm -hmm. something that will give me the kind of presence I need. Mm -hmm. But seriously, girlfriend, I've not seen you in this mood for a very long time. I need to get something. Calm down now, relax. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know it's been a while. Just mm. after you. No, but it's me. Cool. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, I can't wait to see this guy. Mm.
Emily, Emily, Emily. Is something wrong? Just hold on a sec. <clears throat> Listen, Emily, I... Uh, I just want us to do things right. All right, I... I want us to do things right. I want us to... to take it easy. You know, maybe slow down a bit. Just do things right. Okay. But not this way. Not at all. Not 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 exactly in that context. But uh, look, Emily, I am a man with strong principles, Emily. One of which is my promise to God to remain celibate until I get married. Look, I know this might maybe come across as selfish, but please, I implore you to understand. It's fine. Wow. I mean, I'm... I'm really impressed. I'm impressed to hear that from you. It takes a truly God-fearing man to make such... Um, Resolve and stick to it. Thank you. Thank you so much for understanding me. Everything concerning us today into your hands in the mighty name of Jesus. We yeah. ask, O oh, Heavenly Father, that you grant us joy mercies too often every of our destination today in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we come to your presence this morning as we children to ask the Lord that this day that you have given to us as a gift to the Lord, that you shall bring to testimony of him in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Everything that concerns us today, Jehovah, we submit into your hands because we know that with you, O oh, King of Glory, we are protected with you today and the days are there are assured in the mighty name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We give you glory. We thank you for you said that we should say our prayers in faith and belief and we should be assured that it's already answered for we know the name. Take glory and adoration of heaven with In Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Mm -hmm. For the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ our Lord. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I'm still shocked. He did. I said we should wait till the wedding night. <laughs> but that's not even the latest. I was yet to get over that. And this morning I woke up to see him pray. <laughs> this voice actually woke me up. I joined him and he left to hear all of them. Not just that he prays. I have never seen a man who prays that. This man can actually open his own ears to. I'm serious. Yeah, I'm talking about that. I want to make it fast. Honestly, I mean every word of it. Really? Watching him lead the morning prayer was like, I don't know, it was like, like icing on the cake. Wait, wait. You mean a man is willing to wait till the wedding night? Mm -hmm. He prays mm -hmm. very intensive and spicy. Yes. yes. Yeah, you have given me a new man. Anderson missed the step of the game. <laughs> what? Honestly, I can't believe I'm the one in the middle of all these wonderful things. Oh my God, girlfriend, I'm so happy for you. Mm, thank you. <laughs> you see how I would have settled for anything just just to have the Mrs. title and stay oh, trendy. Come on, girl, you deserve it all, sweetheart. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. Oh God, I'm so happy for you. So let's go in and empty that one. Yeah, you know that's you know. what I want. <laughs> mm. That's what I love. Mm. Honestly, it you was something else. In this century. Like, yeah, welcome. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh. 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 <laughs> uh, what are you doing like that? Don't tell me I'm that heavy. No, you're not. You're, <laughs> we're a featherweight. <laughs> oh boy. I am really excited, I tell you. Why? Look at you. Huh? <laughs> oh boy. I just love you, Emily. Mm -hmm. I just love you. <laughs> as much as I am excited, I can't believe we're here today. Honestly, I mean, it's just like yesterday we were introduced by the priest, and here we are today. Mm -hmm. Married. Married. Happy. <laughs> and I just love you. Thank you. Mm. Mm. I want you to know that I will give you the best at all times because you make my heart skip in a very special way, Andrew. And I'm serious. Thank you. Oh, you're gonna make me cry. You should, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Thank you for being my wife. Thank you for being my husband. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. I'm exhausted. Are you okay? Just a bit thirsty and dizzy. Can you do me? Can you do me a glass of water? Can you do that? Oh please? yeah, sure. Is that okay? Yeah. You sure you can do that? I'll do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, Don't tell me you do stuff already. Hey, there was 
please get Nico. It's morning. Oh. It's already morning, you didn't tell me. Oh, I have to. What? Uh, I need you too, baby, but look, I... It's morning and I have to go. Alright, look. Wait, come wait. No, we can't wait. Look, there's something very important at the office I have to really take care of. Please, understand. Wait. I'm your wife. I want you, please. Oh, please can wait for now. Sweetheart, look. I want you. More than you know. Alright? But if we do this now, I am going to be spent for the better part of the morning. And then I'm going to miss out on an all important meeting, please. I can just wait till I get back. I won't stop you from attending the meeting. Sweetheart. Please. Alright? I will make it up to you as soon as I come back. I promise you. Alright? Come on now. I have to go. Be fresh up and I'll be awesome. Jiffy. Mr. DK, I will be discharging you today. Why? I'm not fine now, doctor. Why will you discharge me? Why? 
all the tests that we've conducted on you has been negative. It means you are very, very okay. And I'm sick. I'm not feeling well. You can't possibly, you can't distract me now. It's not possible. Mr. Dickey, calm down. Calm down. The hospital is for sick patients. And how are you sure that I'm not sick? Are you inside my body? You know what's going, going on inside my body? I'm sick! You can't let me go. You can't refuse me. I need like one week bed rest. I'm sick. As I've said, I'm on my way to prepare your charging papers. Doctor, if you discharge me, Doctor, if you discharge me and anything happens to me to be on your deck, I'm not fine. I'm very sick. Don't I look sick? Doctor, I'm talking to you. I'm watching away. Doctor, look, if anything happens to me, if anything happens to me, this man, if you discharge me from this hospital and I die, then it will be on your deck. What kind of problem is this? I'm telling this one that I'm sick. Oh, Emily. Thanks for coming. So, how is he? I can't say. I haven't heard anything from the doctor, but he's currently under full supervision. Oh my god. It must really have been bad. So, what could he have eaten? I have no idea. I have no idea. He, he had this meeting with some partners on a project and then. When he go back, he couldn't even stand. It's okay. It's okay. We'll be fine, all right? Doctor. I need to see you in my office. Okay, I, um, everything is fine with my husband. Your husband is fine. Just come with us. Come. Oh, okay. No, don't worry. <sighs> Doctor, what's the problem? What did your husband take? I have no idea. What could then be the cause of the breakdown? He came back complaining of his stomach and clutching his side. He couldn't even stand straight. But he mentioned something about eating at a function and that was it. <laughs> well, the husband is fine and he is ready to go home. Yeah, we conducted the test and we could not find any trace of food poisoning. We perceive it's more of a psychological issue. Mm. We think he needs rest. You go to the head nurse and she will instruct you on what to do next. Okay. You mean he's fine and we can go home? Uh, exactly. Just rest out what he needs. He can go home. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Hey. Hey. So, how are you? Hello, how are you? <laughs> the doctor said you were fit to go home. I don't know the kind of hospital people brought into. That man doesn't know his job. What is he talking about? Don't I look sick to you? So that I don't want to die. I don't want anything to happen. No. Oh, it's not about you dying. You see that I but he's the doctor and uh, He's the doctor, but he's not he's not a sick person. Is he sick? I'm the one that is sick. He's not sick. I'm the one feeling the pain. I'm not feeling that that, that sharp pain inside my top is still hurting. All I'm asking is that I stay here for another one or two weeks in bed rest so that, that my, I already called the office to tell them that I won't be coming around anytime soon. I need to stay away from every kind of activity, all kinds of activities. I'm sick. I'm sick. I'm sick. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. Every evening I still want temperature. I feel terrible. That champagne is still there. It comes and it goes. And sometimes I just have cough. It's, it's really, really terrible. I, I'm sick. I'm sick. If that man discharges me and anything happens to me, no, it's not okay. How can you tell me? Tell me, now. Tell me that I'm fine. When I'm sick. Babe. Mm. What's up with you? You do it. Replying mails? <laughs> hey, babe, 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 come on. Stop. 
Uh, sweetheart, I need you more than you need me, but I can't do this now, right? I just got out of the hospital, the doctor said not to do anything because at least for the next couple of weeks, please understand with me. You were there, weren't you? You saw what I went through. I need to hear pretty fast so I can get back to work. I mean, you can see I'll be working from home. I need to hear what I hear. Then we're good. We can rock and roll. I promise you. <laughs> Come on now, don't make that face. Emily. 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 Come here. Don't worry. I promise you, as soon as I'm all healed up, then you and I can rock and roll. <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Listen, I don't understand. Uh, you will understand if you will. Ah! Uh, uh. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> boy! When I was on song that work today. Ah! <laughs> this is called a celebration of big time. You know, I wish every day was just like this. Hmm? Ah! <laughs> ah! I, I had a ball today, Emily. It was, it was good for you. You know what, man? You know what? I tried to talk to make my presentation, I was on song, I was on a different level. In the middle, I took the floor, I took them to the very top. Boy, everybody was impressed. The foreign partners had smiles on their faces, our board members, everybody just bought the idea. I, you know, for once in my life, I felt really, really good. You know what I mean? Like, it was just like a teacher talking to his students. And then guess what? Immediately I finished, I just went back to my seat, crossed my legs just like this. Chug. <laughs> like the boss. Hmm? But guess what? I personally have been given the mandate to personally move. Wait. Are you listening to me? Hmm? I have been listening. Come on. What? Michael. Michael, we need to talk. Talk about what? Michael, what is the problem? There is no problem. What are you talking about? What am I to you? My wife. <laughs> Your wife? Do you find me attractive at all? Very attractive, Emily. You are a tall, fair skinned woman. Really? Yes. Then what? What? What seems to be the problem? Michael, what is it? It's been over a month since our. Almighty wedding night. Michael, you are yet to touch me. What is the problem? Explain that to me. Tell me what is it? Is this what all of this is all about? Yes, that's what it's all about. Tell me what the problem is. Look, Emily, this has nothing to do with you, alright? It's it's just me. Alright. I just I just haven't been in the right place. I, I've had plenty to deal with. I've had so much on my mind, impromptu business meetings, I have to plan a trip. You and I just got together. Oh, we'll have to begin to think of ourselves. Michael, 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 Michael. All of that is plenty for me Michael, to deal with. But I'll be fine. Listen to yourself. You have business deals, you've been busy, blah, 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 blah. Is that supposed to be an excuse or what? I am your wife. Your new wife. Over a month, you've not touched me. What is the problem? You're here telling me about business, business. What is that? Am I supposed to understand that or what? You're raising your voice. I am raising my voice because I am angry with you. Do you realize that I am your husband? Raising your voice. Michael. It's 
Stop you it. are my husband. Then do what husbands do. I am your wife. Perform your duties. We are, we are here, married, new couple. We're just, what is this? We have living here like, are you my brother or something? What is it? I'll have this conversation with you. Is that too much to ask? I would have had this conversation with you, not this week. No, you, you're going to have this conversation with me. Michael, listen to me. You're going to nap me. You're going to nap me. All right, I'm going to say that. Discuss what? You have to tell me what your problem is. What problem? What are you talking about? Michael, listen, listen. I don't understand this anymore. Understand what? Tell me what is going on. What is going on? Michael, first you came up with an excuse why we can't go on honeymoon. And then you became a bit busy, fell sick, needed to recover. And ever since then, it's been endless tales of paper with excuses. And you're telling me, what is the problem? Tell me what the problem is. Emily, listen to me. This is marriage. Do you hear me? Michael. This is, I am talking to you and your husband. Shut up, God damn it. Michael. Marriage is about understanding. And I'm trying to get you to understand my situation. This has nothing whatsoever to do with you. It has everything to do with me. I am busy. I'm not in the right place you right now. Busy. And it is your place as you my wife busy. to understand. Michael, you are busy. You are busy and you are punishing me. You are busy. I think I am talking to you. You think I'm joking here? What is your problem? You want to be to me? Go ahead, Michael. Go ahead. Beat me. Do it! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just beat me up! I am your wife! Look at me! I am suffering! You're punishing me! What is wrong with you? Just let me be! You're not trying to tell me that your husband has not touched you all this well. I'm not in the mood for this, please. Come on, pick something. Try and pick something now. Oh, please, thank you. This is serious. So, what's his reason? Nothing. Maybe, maybe he's not finding me attractive. things up a bit, you know? Yeah. What do you mean? Emily. You know this thing about the extraordinary spiritual brothers? Sex may be some sort of a struggle to him. And besides, that guy has been single for almost a lifetime, giving everything to work. Probably he must have broken a link down there, you know? That you may need to help him fix. Bella, what are you saying? Oh, you need to wake the man in him up! You need to rekindle the dying flame. Okay.
What's that in that room? What was that smell? What was that? <laughs> oh, with that being said, I'll go up there, put out the candle so you can come back to the room and make love to me. <coughs> Hold on a second, me perform my manly duties on you in this condition that you just put me. Forget it, Emily. I'm Why? turned off. You have to give me a You are turned off what? What? Give me a look. You are turned off what? I'm turned Look, let me tell you, as a matter of fact, I need about two weeks, minimum two weeks, all right, to be left alone so that I can pass out that nasty air that you just put in my system. Please, allow me, leave me alone. Don't kill me. And what exactly is that supposed to be? It is very simple. That is the bedroom. You stay there, I go to work, I come back, I use the guest bathroom and toilet, sort myself out and just make myself comfortable on the couch. Is that okay? <sighs> Michael, you lie. Michael, you lie. You will not. You dare. Okay, fine. Sleep in. No problem. I'll join you. We'll sleep there. That is what we're supposed what to be doing. Yes, I'll join you anywhere you want to sleep. We're husband and wife. We do things together. Sleep together. Play together. Eat together. Do everything together. So if you want to sleep here, I'll join yeah, you. Sleep here. Example. Turn around. Look at that couch. That's Italian leather. Do you understand? It is very healthy. Michael, I am not advisable for you and I. Do I you want to talk to that? Whatever you have in this house belongs to you I and I. I don't care what. Ah, hey, she wants to fight me. Yes, she wants to fight you. Yes. Oh, you want to? I am ready for you. Anywhere you want to stay. You want to stay in the kitchen. No problem. I'll join you anywhere you want to sleep. Okay, fine. Sleep there. 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 Sleep Keep talking, then you are tired. We will say whatever you want us to say. Oh, fine, I'm doing better. I'm be touching you. <clears throat> touching you. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Send that down. Oh, bitch. I'm going to do it with you. What are you doing? kept you so long. I have to make sure I get the right drugs. Yeah. Did you get it? Yes, I did. Slip this into his food this night. It works like magic. He's going to be all over you and you're begging to stop. Mm. Are you sure? I'm serious. I've used it a few times on my Anderson. You know what? As soon as you put this into his food, just go lie naked and wait for him. You're not <laughs> serious. You're stupid. Oh, well, this time around I am. Well, girl. Yeah. Man, let's do this thing.
This has got to be the hottest joke of the century. Look, you have to do something about this, oh. This is beyond the ordinary. What could be wrong? Wait. Did you use the drugs as I instructed? I did not only put it in the soup. I also mixed it with the eba. Girl, I was surprised when I walked into the room and saw Michael sleeping, laying wasted on the bed, snoring to the high heavens. <laughs> I swear to anything that that man is cheating on you. Yes, he is cheating on you. No. No, no, no. Uh, no, stop this. Stop deceiving yourself. That man is obviously having his feel out there. You think so, sir? I know so. See? around you. It is clearly written in bold letters. And you will be so blind not to see. No. No. Michael is not like that. No. Michael is all about home and office. He doesn't smoke. He doesn't drink. He doesn't even have friends. Okay. So how? He's all about work, work, work. Michael is not like that. Uh, it's about home, office, uh, work, work, work. Uh -uh. It's high time you focus your attention at his workplace. See, it's not beyond him to be engaged in some kind of office romance. What kind of problem is this? What am I putting myself into? What am I putting myself into? Emily, calm down. It's okay. You're still talking. See, sit down. Sit down. Calm down. It's okay. Listen. This is not the time for whining. All you have to do now is get all the information you need on this strange woman. And let's teach her a lesson she'll never forget. Check it now. Can you tell me you stay for that long? Your husband will not make love to you. What's the meaning of that? There is something wrong. There is something wrong. Think. Get his phone and look through his text messages, phone contacts, last dialed, even WhatsApp and BBM. Check who has been receiving most messages from him. Until you tell me why you have refused to touch me ever since you got married to me. Just as I told you about, they're coming in today. Long late as it 
traffic to deal with. We please do this all the time. And yeah, you think I'm not aware of that? Of course, and that's exactly why I chose today. Hmm? So if that large meeting of yours means anything to you, you better start talking. Else, prepare to spend the whole of today with me in there. possibly cheat on my husband. I can't do this. Ah, nobody's asking you to cheat on your husband. Okay, fine. That man up there is a responsible man. The whole thing is going to be a secret. There is nothing responsible about a man that wants to sleep with another man's wife. Oh. I can't. I can't. I, I, no, no, no. This is not right. Emily, your husband is out there having fun and you're here starving yourself. I cannot even prove that. Oh, I am really? not sure he's cheating on me. I know, yes, I know, I know, I know something is wrong somewhere. I am very certain that something is not right. But I intend to find out. That is what marriage is all about. For better, for worse, let me go and find okay, out. Okay, no problem, no problem. No problem. Now, I, I, I'm the bad person now, right? No, no I'm problem. sorry. Let's yeah, it's not like that. It's okay. Emily, please. What? sure all is well. Maybe he has some work-related issues. Mm -mm. It has nothing to do with work. As a matter of fact, work is actually a blessing to him. It's not work. Um, well, um, Sister Emily, I think yeah, you have to take it easy. Um, I'll have a word with him, okay? But for the meantime, please, I want you to be a little more patient with me. Everything will be fine, okay? Okay, thank you, Father. You're welcome. Thank you. Let us pray. In the name of the Father. I'm so Come, 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 come. <laughs> come, 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 come. Voila! <laughs> this is it, baby. I got you something beautiful. You know, I. I Given your beauty, I've, I've been looking for something that would, you know, that would work. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> you want to you want to you want to test drive? What for? It's a car, baby. I know it's a car, but what is this for? It's a gift. From hobby to wifey. A Michael, gift from me. Yes, baby. I need you. Not a car. Michael, don't you get it? Michael, <sighs> why are you punishing me like this? Um, babe, I honestly do not understand how going out there and getting you a beautiful gift like this looks like a punishment. Michael, it's, Michael. I'm not punishing you. I don't need a car. I need you. I don't want a car. I want my husband, not a car. What is the meaning Sweet, of this? Can you just... Sweetheart, can you at least... life is this? What have I gotten myself into? Is Michael a ritualist or what? What exactly is his reason for not touching me since he got married to me? It's been one excuse or the other. All in a bid to avoid getting intimate with me. Was I wrong in getting married to him? Or was I in some kind of haste that I failed to take in the necessary things into consideration? But Michael was the sweetest man ever. What, what is going on? No. No, I'm not going to sit back and fold my hands. I'm going to do whatever is necessary to get me out of this self-imposed misery. I can't sit here and play the victim while Michael goes about his life like everything is fine. No. I really can't tell you much about his growing up days because he left home when he was quite young to start a life for the same. So you really can't tell if there were some women in his life or <laughs> if any one of them could have gotten pregnant for him? Hmm? <laughs> uh, honestly, I can't tell. You know, Michael is very secretive. But why are you asking all those questions? Mama. I think something might be wrong with my cup. <laughs> something. Something like what? Like what? Am I wrong with this? Michael has not touched me ever since we got married. Hmm? I'm not serious. I'm not looking at No. 
now. Michael, now. I am not interested in your food. Just start talking right now, Michael. I'm losing it. Just start talking. Um, start talking. Look. Don't make me joke, alright? I'm eating. I'm saying stuff. Oh my god, you're talking about food. Yes. Ah. Uh. I've had a lot to deal with. Michael, you are... You are joking, right? You are joking. I wish it was my darling. <laughs> That's the truth. I, I don't know where things uh -huh. went wrong, but I certainly cannot put it past... past my person who has said I... I hit the floor really, really hard <laughs> on my ass. I just, I just feel that I just might have tampered with my testicles. I don't know, but because I was in pains and I was taken to a, 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 a local treatment center, which was obtainable at the time. Severally, I have been thrown out of brothel. Severally, I have been disgraced and embarrassed by a handful of girlfriends. I have been to hell and back living like this. You don't know the half of it. This is not something that I am proud to talk about. Thank you. Mira! 
Yes? Can I help you? What is this? What is what? Oh, that. Excuse me, though. Is that the reason you've not been taking my course? I've been Why should I? You're not picking? Please, please, please. Oh, tell me, please, please. Are you avoiding me? Of course I am. Tell me why I shouldn't. Do I look like a lesbian to you? Tell me, do I really look like a lesbian? I don't understand. What do you mean by that? What do I mean? Tell me. When a man cannot perform his functions as a man, that makes him a woman like me. And I am not the kind of woman who likes to be with other women. So please, go and equip yourself. Or better still, find your kind to play with. As you can see, that's a real man and you're just like me, man. Take care. Sweetheart, let's go, sweet. Until I lost every sense of sexual confidence that I may have had. And then I realized that I just might have to get used to my current situation. Which is. Which is the fact that I can't have an erection. Mm. Which is the fact that I, that I can't, I can't, I can't please your woman. Mm. I just live the rest of my life like this and believe. Mm. This pain I have been living with, <laughs> this I have been dealing with. Or close to 40 years of my life. <laughs> I am not entirely proud of the smile sitting right in front of you. Are you. Are you trying to. to tell me that. that you. do not function there? What you're seeing, tell me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Michael, you're choking, you're choking, you're choking, Michael, you're choking. <laughs> without the cost of giving her a heads up. Oh my god, sweetie, it's okay. Hey, stop crying. <laughs> I feel so terrible. Oh, I feel terrible. I don't know how to come out of this situation. I don't know. I just, just, after waiting for so long to get married and then I ended up with, with a non-functional man. It's okay. How, how, how worse could this get? How am I supposed to come out of this? It's okay, dear. Everything is going to be Fine, I Everything is going to be fine. Tell me how. How? How do I come out of this situation? How am I supposed to fix this? You know what? You know what? Divorce him. Yes. What kind of nonsense is this? No. No, no, I can't. Can't now. I just got married a few months ago and now I should be talking about divorce. How? How? I can't do that. There has to be another way out. <laughs> of course, there's no other way out. Except 
say you're, you're going to live with a woman inside and get a man outside. You and I know how that ended the last time. I can't cheat on my husband. Oh, yes. I can't cheat on him. I can't divorce him. I can't even stand the judgmental eyes of the public. My mother will die of shame. I can't. You don't know how I feel. I feel. Saying is very simple. We do not have to involve a third party in this. Your mother isn't a third party. She has the right to know why her son hasn't given her a grandchild. If ever he will, anyway. Excuse me. Emily, what did you just say? I'm talking to you, Emily. What, what are you implying? What I'm huh? saying is that. I am not prepared to go through this with you with my mouth shut. If there be a slightest chance of getting help, I will go all out and ask for it. Emily, Emily, you and I are man and wife, all right? We are a couple. What I'm saying is that we be discreet about things like this. That is not exactly the why we are going through this in the first place. Being discreet. Michael, maybe, just maybe, if you had spoken to a few people about your predicament, you could have gotten the help you needed. <laughs> right. <laughs> Flip the script on me. The help I need. Well, well, that's why I told you about it. And what did you do? You put it on the tablet so everyone can read about it. I also shared it with a neurosurgeon who will help us. What is wrong with that? Michael, in every childless marriage, in this part of the society where we live in, the woman bears it all. And I am not ready to go through that. Just let me try please. First time, Michael. Mr. D.K. You were referred here because your case is a spinal cord issue. And uh, you have what is called the minor compression of the spinal cord, which is it's minor. That's why you could still move, move around. But it in turn affected your rectal tissue. And um, it requires a neurosurgical uh, process that is called decompression of the spinal cord. Um, that's the good news. It's uh, you have a 70 30 chance of getting back to shape and over here in this house, in this facility we've recorded um, 95 percent success in this surgery. So we'll take you through the elementary process uh, prior to the surgery. 
much that is done away. Hope to get a good result. Not no, that sound hope. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. What, what is your problem? Uh, I'm just checking No, I, I know, fine. Much appreciated, but look, the doctor said two weeks. I've only been home for, say, five days now, right? He said between 14 and 18 days. Okay, fine, but I'll keep checking my uh, I've just been here for five days. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. So it's almost time to take your drugs. Well, what time is it again? Did I just think? Yeah, it's afternoon already. So I'll go get your food. What, what, what did you make? Mm. What did you make? Wait! You want to surprise me? You're gonna like it. You want to surprise me? Trust me, you're gonna like it. Trust me, you're gonna like it. Trust me, you're gonna like it. Keeping hope alive and uh, hopefully all will turn out well. I'm sure it will. You know, you deserve the best for all you have done for your husband. <laughs> was expected of me. <laughs> uh, trust me, it hasn't been easy at all. I understand. I hope he appreciates you for all you have done for him. Because honestly, I feel if positions were switched, he wouldn't do the same. Being a woman isn't such an easy venture after all. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much for your love and support. You're welcome. To I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, you've been there for me. Come on, um, what a friend's <laughs> I'll say that. <laughs> What is the reason for marriage? Really? <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm tired now. We've no, been on this all night. We can just sleep slow. Now you're complaining. Mm. Huh? <laughs> you're complaining. Do you? No, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no, no. I remember no. you used to hound me every night for sex. 